All right. All right. So we're talking about laws of logarithms. Okay. Now, by the way, this these tricks only work when the log is the same base. What's the base of this log right here? Ten. Ten. Actually, maybe we should. If it's if there's nothing in there, there's a little invisible ten. So these tricks only work when the log is the same base. Let's uh, actually back up for a second. Um, let's say like 3 to the 4th is 81. How do I write this in a log function? You guys remember? Log, log, log 3, three four, little 3, 81, 81 four, equals 4. Yeah. So if you plug this in the calculator, you should get 4. So remember what logs do is help find a missing exponent. That's exponential form on top right Exponential form, logarithm function, log function. All right. Okay. Today we're talking about special like rules with logarithms. If you add log whatever a and log whatever b is, then you will get log of a times b or a b. So a really quick example: if you have log three. Log, this would be common logarithm of 3, common logarithm of, say, 10. That would equal the common logarithm of 30. Okay, that's rule number one. Rule number two. Maybe you guys can guess this before I even say it. If you do log A minus log of B. A divided by B. Yes. That equals log of a divided by b. So, if it divides, you know you should divide it. If it doesn't divide, like, let's use the 3 and 10 again. If it's like that, well, what's 3 divided by 10? 3 tenths. Whatever, or 0.3, same thing. Like We're not doing that. There's no special trick for that. So, what are we so confused? If it's log 6 plus log 11, it'd be equal to log 66. Yep. Because you multiply by two numbers. Yep. That's it. All right. And then, um, let's say, I don't know, whatever. Oh, I'm going to do the general first. Let's make that a uh, x. Okay, if you have a number with an exponent right there, basically the exponent can move out in front and become a multiplier, a factor. So this turned into x times log of a. Okay, so we could also do it backwards too. If we have a times log of b, that would equal log of b to the a. See how we did that? Um, so here's an example. Log base log of 5 to the third equals 3 times log of 5. All right, you guys got the three rules? Okay, rule number one. If you're adding the logs, you can multiply the numbers that you're putting in. Uh, rule number two. If you're subtracting the logs, you can divide the numbers that are being put in. And rule number three. If there's an exponent on whatever you're putting in the log, you can move it in front as a multiplier. Factor is what you could call it. X times the log of a. All right. So, number one, write each expression in terms of log of a and log of b and log of c. So, number one, it's kind of an accident, but I use the same letters as my first example. What's log of a times b equal? Log, log of a plus log of b. That's it. like rule number one, but it, they wrote it back, we're writing it backwards from 
what I wrote at the beginning. Number three, log A squared C. Okay, we got two things to do. We are going to break it up like we did on number one, and then we're going to move the exponent. So, since these two are multiplied together, that's like log of a squared plus log of c. And then what did I say we could do with the exponent? Move it out. Yeah, it can go up front. So that equals 2 times log of a plus log of c. So in this first section, we're breaking everything apart, writing everything in terms of log of A and log of B and log of C. So kind of separating everything. Number five. <coughs> Over C cubed. Okay. Now this time they're divided. What do we change division into? Subtraction. So... This is log of a squared minus log of c cubed. And then what are we going to do with those exponents? Go to the front. Go to the front. To the front. So this becomes 2 log of a minus 3. We're going fast. Log of c. Yeah, we're going pretty, pretty fast because there's not a lot to it. Does it get harder? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Wow. He said today's going to be harder, and he just said that this one. I didn't want to accept that. I didn't want to accept that I'm going to have to do hard things. Whatever you do, look at it with all your heart. Shut up, Yeah. <laughs> She's quoting the Bible. Thank you very much. Colossians 3.23. Oh, I thought Emily was going to speak from her mouth. Because I don't take that. I'll quote Paul in the first letter to the Timothy. Don't make me bring this back. Okay. Trouble in paradise. Okay, do you guys remember back last chapter, I think it was, how do we write square root in exponential form? Like, what's another way of writing square root of x? Uh, oh, yeah. One x, x to the one half. So, um, all of this. So, here's another way we could write this. Yeah, see what I did? I just replaced the. Radical with a one half. Um, I'm going to change it a little bit more too. So this would be to the three halves, three times one half, and b to the one half. What the half half just happened? I looked away. I believe you're working. So three halves log a plus half log b. Yep. Wait, so how did you, okay, so why is this two things in parentheses and be multiplied with the following? Okay, because all of it's in the square root, so to show it's all to the one half power, I had to put it in parentheses. Okay. So then I just combined their exponents by doing three times one half, mm -hmm. three halves, and basically one times a half is a half. Oh, so that thing on the right is the answer? No, we got to separate it still. So it's log of a to the three halves plus log of b to the one half. And then we gotta move the exponents in front. This isn't too bad. I don't think you should have said Wait till you do the even and then tell me whether it's better. At least it can't get any worse. I did look at number six for the first time. Once you know that, the red is kind of better. Number nine. Okay, number nine is the opposite. They're broken apart, and we're supposed to put them back together again. So, nothing. 
These tricks only work when you have the same yeah, right. same bass, but the bass is gonna stay the same on our answer too. Okay, log base five of two plus log base five of nine. Okay, when we're adding the logs together, they're the same base. What can we do with the numbers? Two times nine. Multiply. So two times nine is 18. So this is log base five of 18. See if any of these simplify completely. No, there are none. If this was like log base five of 25, you could turn that into a two. This is some weird decimal. So we're just gonna leave it like, that's that's the answer, we're done. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, you said we're not, so like if it's subtraction across the thing, would we divide it? Or yeah. Just, we did. Yep, subtraction turns into divide. Okay, number 11. Okay, uh, I guess we'll write it down first. We're back to using the common logarithm so I don't have to write down a base. Okay, what do you think, what do you guys think I'm gonna do with that four in front of this log right here? Move it up as an exponent. So it's log of three to the fourth. Okay. If we're subtracting logs, what can we do with the, these things? Divide. So it's three to the fourth divided by nine, which we can simplify for that. Um, three to the fourth is like 81. 81 divided by nine. Uh, I don't, the calculator can't really, oh, well, they just put fractions, they put fractions. Thirteen, log base seven of x. I'm just writing the number down. Log base seven of y to the six. Minus two log base seven. I'm still sore. Okay. Did I copy that right? We got a lot of work to do on this one. I think that's right. Um, all right. We have a couple numbers in front. What am I going to do with those two numbers? Uh, half the square root, two is the square root. Okay, move it up to the exponent. So, I didn't do anything with this guy. But on this one, it's y to the sixth to the one half. And on this one, is z squared. So all I did, I, know, I wrote a lot, but I only did two little things. I moved the number in front, the factor in front, up to the exponent. Why? Isn't that seven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are sevens. Okay, well I thought those were really greater than seven. I thought those were a little seven. I just copied it out of the book, 13. Okay. Um, what is y to the six three. to the one half? Yeah, you multiply six times a half, half of six is three. Um, I don't really want to write this whole thing over again. So I'm just going to put a little y3 there. Okay, now, the first two are added together. So what do we do with added values? Multiply. So it's x times y cubed. Can't do anything with that. And what do I do with the subtracted value? Divide. So it's log base seven, x times y cubed, divided by z squared. Thank you for saying it wasn't like a tracker. What happened? Hmm? Well, good news. We've got 20 
25 minutes for lunch. Actually? Yes. School district flying by. Yes, sir. We should spend class at least 10 minutes. Um, they just, well, watch 15 and see if you can figure it out. So, oh gosh. to the hard ones. Well, this last one is hard. This term is hard. Okay, but what, I, what do you guys think I'm going to do with the first term here? X is going to go up. So log whoops, A to the X. Okay, and then 3 is going to go up. Okay, this is where it gets weird. So 1 over Y is going to go up, no? Okay. Well, you remember how um, the one half power meant like the square root of? Yeah. So this means the y, the y root, the y root of b. Um, so it's kind of like that, but you put a little Y right there. So that one's kind of weird. All right. These two are being subtracted. What does that mean? Divide. So A to the X over C cubed. And this is being added. So what does that mean? Multiply. Multiply. So when you multiply... It's basically like this over one, so it's just going to go on the top. And that's that's it. So the y root of b it goes on top. It's kind of weird, Drew, how we went from like the root super easy assignment, and then well, we almost like, never. Had, that's like the first time we've had know, a super easy and assignment. Then I, was, I was like. We're, oh, dang, this is going to be really nice. We're going to ease into this chapter, and here we are. Okay. Well, 15 might have been hard, but that doesn't mean all of them are hard. I don't know. It's just it's stressful. Were you lost before 15, or is that just first? Uh, once we got to 9. 9. Okay. Or no, not 9. Let's see what I wrote up there. 1 through 18. Oh, yeah, 18. I forgot about that. So 18, 17, and 18 are kind of like the end of uh, Friday's assignment. Convert to exponent, convert each property of exponents to logarithm form. Okay, so we just got to write it as a logarithm. It's kind of like number one, actually, on yesterday, or Friday. So, number 17, it's log what? Log base Log base A of... One equals zero. zero. What? Oh. We're just turning it into a log, like we did on Friday. Oh, so that's what you're doing with the other one? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, and then, what did I write up there? It's 27 to 32. Okay. We don't have to graph it. All right. We're actually solving equations now. So these are going to actually have answers, not just simplify. Solving for x. But we're going to use our skills that we just obtained. Um, so for example, how can I combine these two log functions? 
Like what's this plus this going to equal? 2x. Log base 8 of 2x. Okay, here's the trick. We kind of used, have used a trick like this before. If they're lo both log base 8 of something equals log base 8 of something, if that's true, if they're equal, then 2x and 7 have to be equal to make this true. You guys see what I'm saying there? No, uh, once upon a time, you guys remember the chapter where we had like 5 to the x equals 1.5 yeah. and yeah. we made them like the same base and then those two had to be equal. It's the same thing. So if you have the same logs are equal and then 2x and 7, 2x and 7 have to be equal to make this true. So how do we solve that? Or x. So it's just 7 over 2. Why wouldn't it be 3.5? It's the same thing. 7 divided by 2 is 7 over 2. See, this stuff is easy to read. Well, you stinks yourself. You haven't learned yet. Never say it's easy to get to the end. 2 log base 2 of 2. Equals log base 2 of 9. All right. Any ideas what we what I'm going to do here? Move this to the exponent. So it's log base 2 of x squared equals log base 2 of 9. Okay, so, yeah, now that their logs are equal, it's just x squared equals 9. Okay, actually, if x squared is 9, x plus or minus 3. Okay, here's the thing, though. Plugging negatives into log functions doesn't actually work. So it is just going to be positive 3. Why did we square root? To get rid of the square? Yeah. yeah. X squared is 9, so x must be the square root of 9. Square root gets rid of the square, yes. Mm -hmm. How many more? Two or one? Thirty-one log base eight. Subtracting, what do you do? Uh, divide. So this is log base 8 of this divided by this. Whoops. Now, does that simplify? No. No, it does not. You can't, it's divided by both of them, so you can't divide out the 4s. Now, if it was 4x divided by 4, because multiply and divide are opposites, uh, you could do that because that's a multiplied 4, not an added 4. But when it's two different terms, no, you can't do that. Unless they're both divisible by 4. Uh, what am I going to write next? Multiply by 4. No. Well, I'm going to write the equation next. x plus 4 over 4 must equal 12. Yeah, multiply by 4. And subtract by 4. Yeah. Since these are equations, you could check them by plugging in both sides. Can you scroll? That's just the problem. This 